everyone. My name is Brian Smoot II. I'm a technical account manager with Tia Bolt Software. And in today's demonstration, we're going to go over our extraction type table CDC, which stands for change data capture, which is a method to keep track of data changes such as inserts, updates, and deletes in SAP tables. As I get started with creating this extraction for table CDC, we're going to name the extraction KMA1 from the table that we're pulling from, choose our extraction type, move forward. As you can see here, I will now select the table again and search for it for customer master. Right now, the table or the trigger on the table has not been initialized. So what that means is right now we are not tracking any changes within this table. So I'm going to go ahead and do a run. If I wanted to extract the table on the first run, the full table, I can check this here. I will leave it unselected just to move forward with this demonstration. As I run this extraction to a standard CSV file, it then initializes the trigger on the table and also creates the log table in SAP that records any of the changes made to the selected table. Right now we have it successfully um, completed. I will then go to SAP to now implement a change. So now as I'm implementing this change, this table specifically to this customer number 1003, which was once IDES Inc. I can change it to IDES Corp and save. And then I will add an additional customer change to this customer number 1001, which was once Sports Group Co. We can change to Sports United. We can save this as well. And now that we have implemented the changes on these two customer numbers, I can go into our extraction again. I can validate the fields that I want to bring in. Right now, all fields are selected. Um, for the trigger on this table, all fields will be um, recorded for changes, but I can specifically select the, tape, the fields of my choosing for my data set. As you can see, the CDC info state is now initialized, meaning the trigger has been placed on this table. I can now press OK to move forward and track all changes. I also have the ability to show the active CDC watches that I have on specific tables, just to make sure that the changes that are happening on these tables don't grow um, out of control. Right now, I have one specific here that I created earlier today that I can delete. And now that trigger was, or that trigger on the table was deleted. So now I can press OK, run this extraction, and I should see two rows successfully extracted for the two updates that I made within that table. Here are the customer numbers. Here's the operation that we have at the very end for Theobald software operation, indicating if this was an update, insert, or delete. And there you have it, tracking changes in an SAP table using table CDCs.